Hi everyone, this is Sam Lawrence. I am here to give you part 2 video of level measurement using differential pressure transmitter. Before watching this video, kindly see part 1 of this topic to get the proper continuation. The link for part 1 video is given in the description. Without wasting any more time, let's move to the concept. The concept of this topic is position 0 adjustment. In part 1 video, we have seen the flushing of closed tank and stainless steel tube connected with differential pressure transmitter. In this part 2 video, we are going to see how position 0 adjustment is done. It's a very general practices of an instrumentation engineer before using the instrument for specified application. Finally, after finishing the flushing, this is the state of the tank. The valves that are left open after flushing will be low pressure valve and high pressure valve. The valves that are left closed after flushing will be needle valve 1, needle valve 2, block valve 1, block valve 2, equalizer valve, vent valve 1 and vent valve 2. High pressure SS tube is filled with process medium and low pressure SS tube is filled with gas of process medium after flushing. Let's carry out position 0 adjustment at this point. Open the block valves 1 and 2 and let the process medium into the manifold valve. If we see at high pressure side water will be entering into the manifold and if we see at low pressure side gas of process medium will be entering into the manifold valve. Close block valve 2 that is low pressure side. Open vent valve 1 and vent valve 2 briefly and close them again to fill differential pressure transmitter completely with water that is process medium and remove the air. At present, a differential pressure transmitter may show some values like 0.002 bar. Now, we are going to make it 0.0 bar by doing position 0 adjustment. Use the manual of manufacturer and do the following steps using the display of differential pressure transmitter. Step 1 go to menu. Step 2. Look for setup in the display using up and down arrows and click OK. Step 3. Search for position 0 adjust using up and down arrows and click OK. Step 4. Correct the measured value from 0.002 bar to 0.0 bar using the up and down arrows. Step 5. Click Confirm. Boom! It's all done. We have done position 0 adjustment successfully. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this, please share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to get all the videos instantly. See you all in part 3. Bye bye.